Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Loftus. I'm a professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm a member of the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Interest Group in the GI Division. And I wanted to talk to you today about a paper that I was a co-author on. We uh, examined the risk of myocardial infarction and congestive heart failure in a population-based inception cohort of Olmsted County residents with inflammatory bowel disease. So these were all patients who were residents of Olmsted County at the time they were diagnosed with either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, and they were diagnosed with those conditions between 1980 and 2010, and was roughly 700 patients. And for each of those IBD patients, we identified two controls who did not have IBD but were matched on age and sex and roughly a similar clinic visit. And so then these patients were followed through their medical records forward in time looking for the risk of either myocardial infarction or congestive heart failure. And we used predefined, predetermined criteria for myocardial infarction. These are criteria that have been used in other studies. Uh, these were rigorously applied to both groups, the case group and the control group, as well as for congestive heart failure. And then we determined the risk of myocardial infarction and congestive heart failure in these groups. And it turned out that overall, the risk was between two to three times elevated for the IBD patients to develop myocardial infarction or congestive heart failure, despite the fact that for the traditional coronary risk factors like hyperlipidemia, diabetes, hypertension, there were essentially no differences in the two groups. And what we think is going on is that the systemic inflammation associated with IBD is probably driving some of this risk. There have been other studies that have examined this and have suggested the same thing. I would argue that our, our study, between its population-based nature and the fact that we had access to the actual medical records and then applied predetermined criteria for the outcomes, the myocardial infarction and congestive heart failure, I would say our, our study is pretty rigorous. Um, the indirect evidence that inflammation may be playing a role is that when we broke out the patients with IBD who had ever received corticosteroids, and steroids are sort of a marker for disease activity, those patients had a five times elevated risk of myocardial infarction compared to their respective match controls, compared to the patients who had never received corticosteroids, where their risk, instead of being five times elevated, was like one and a half times elevated. And so I think that was indirect evidence that inflammation might be playing a role. And so I think the, the take-home message for the clinician is that if you have a patient with um, sim cardiopulmonary symptoms, don't blow it off. Um, that patient needs to be investigated, even if they don't have the traditional coronary risk factors, because there is this increased risk of myocardial infarction. Thank you.